Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be carrying out a brake fluid change on the BMW 1 Series. Now, um, if you come in to the dashboard, I've put the key in and pressed the button. We get the service warning and it says 05 2020. Now it's 08 2020 now, so we're three months over. Um, but that is basically the uh, brake fluid uh, warning telling us that, it's, uh, that it was due in May. Now it should be done every two years uh, as a rule um, and obviously it's been two years since uh, it was last done in May 2018. So a couple of months overdue but um, you know it's not it's not that big a, big a deal. Anyway let's um, we'll have to go into the bonnet take a couple of little things off to be able to get to the uh, brake fluid reservoir and then what we'll do is we'll get the car up in the air get the wheels off and uh, run through the process of changing the fluid. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, first thing we need to do um, is we need to access the um, brake fluid reservoir, which is under this uh, this little panel here. So to get it off, let's just pull that little bit of rubber out of the way. There's a clip on the back here, which pops off your finger, and then there's another one at the front, just here, and then we're away. As you can see, here's the uh, here's the brake fluid reservoir. So what we're going to do is um, drain all the fluid. Um, and then uh, and then go through the process of bleeding it up. Now, um, what, what we want to be doing really is we want to bleed from the wheel station that's furthest away from the reservoir. So we're going to start at the uh, near side rear, then the offside rear, near side front, offside front. And um, we'll do it in that order. Um, brand new fluid, uh, shouldn't take too long, probably about five or six minutes, um, probably the hardest job, part of the job really is uh, jacking her up, getting the wheels off. Once, uh, once that part's done, it's fairly, uh, fairly easy. Um, what I'm gonna use though, uh, in order to do this, is I'm gonna use a pressure bleed tool. Um, the link for that tool, I will put in the description below, costs about 12, 13 pounds or thereabouts, and it's worth, it's worth its weight in gold. It's so, so simple to bleed, to bleed your brakes using that tool. So uh, I've um, talked about its benefits in previous videos, uh, but yeah, like I said, I will leave a link to that tool in the description below. Okay, so bleed nipple is just there at the top of the caliper. That's what we're going to be uh, working on um, in order to drain the fluid out and bleed the air out. Um, going back to the tool that I uh, mentioned a moment ago, this is basically it. Just a little vacuum hand pump. Setup is dead simple. All you do is have one hose that goes from the nipple into the bottle, and then another one that goes from the bottle to the pump and as you pump it it basically creates a vacuum as you can see right then what we need to do first is drain all the fluid out of the uh, out of the system and what we're going to do is basically empty this line the uh, the brake line all the way from the reservoir to this wheel but also we're going to empty all the fluid out of the reservoir at the same time so that's the way we're going to uh, that's the way we're going to proceed and then all we need to do is using your using your spanner put it on the bleed nipple and then crack it off and then create your vacuum let me just rearrange the orientation of the spanner right there we go okay now create my vacuum and as you can see there's fluid flowing out and 
and what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going until such time as no more fluid comes out and we'll know then that we've emptied this line and the reservoir as well it won't take too long as you can see it's just sitting there in the cup just keep the vacuum right we've nearly got all the fluid out I think we're practically there all right what we're gonna do is just close that off and we're gonna empty empty me bottle because that's full Okay, so I've emptied my little pot. Let's crack her open again. Build up my vacuum. And let's just make sure we've got it all out. Okay. Finally, we've got no more. Bye, give it another quick pump. As you can see, there's no more fluid coming through. So let's close it off for the moment. Now I had to empty this little jar five times. And as you can see in the old pickle jar, that's how much fluid we've removed. So we've drained that brake line and everything out of the reservoir as well. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to add some fresh fluid to the reservoir. Right, what we need to do now is we need to add brake fluid to the brake fluid reservoir. Now what I do is I like to take my uh, five litre um, brake fluid bottle and I like to decant some into a little jug because it's got a nice bendy nozzle on it and it makes it easier to pour in and you don't um, run as high a risk of pouring it all over the place because obviously you don't want to pour brake fluid um, anywhere it shouldn't be, particularly paintwork because it is um, corrosive to paint. Um, so be mindful of that. Now all this is just plain old dot four uh, it's not nothing special, so all we need to do is just add fluid. Now there is a there is a min and max on the side just here. Don't be too concerned about that at this stage because we are going to pull a fair bit of fluid through the system anyway. So just get plenty of fluid in there. See, it does take a fair old bit. And there we go, she's full now. Okay, right. One thing I do want to point out at this stage is that the clutch, um, the clutch also shares the reservoir. Now, don't be concerned about the, the fact that we've drained the reservoir is going to also require us to bleed the clutch. We won't because there's still fluid in the clutch line. I haven't removed any. So all that's, um, all, all I've done is I've introduced air into the brake system at this stage. So, right, now we've got fluid in the reservoir. What we need to do, go back to that wheel again. Okay, now exactly the same as we did before. What I'm going to do, get me vacuum up and then crack the bleed nipple. Now what we're going to be doing this time is pulling the fluid down to this point from the reservoir, filling up this brake line. And here we go. Now we can see, we can see the fluid starting to come through. As you can see, we've got the fluid starting to come through into the tool. pressure on okay 
right, let's close that little lead nipple. And there we go, that is that one bled. So what we've done is we topped up the reservoir and we've pulled fluid down from the reservoir to this point. So we know, know now that this brake line has fluid in it. So what I can do now is stick this wheel on and then move to the other side. Okay then, next wheel. Let's, uh, let's get the spanner on the, uh, on the bleed nipple. Get the tool on. Create a vacuum. And then crack her open. And here we go, we can see the fluid coming out. Now, with this one, what we're trying to do is just empty the line of the old fluid and then drag fresh fluid from the reservoir down to this point. So we don't need to um, do it for too long. All, we, all we're uh, aiming to do is just empty the old fluid out of this line and then uh, replace it with fresh. So what I'll do, I'll let it get up to about halfway up the bottle and we know for a fact then that the, uh, the line is empty of old fluid because it doesn't hold that much, believe it or not. As you can see, we're still pulling some through. Okay, I reckon that'll do it. Let's close her up. Pop the tool off. And there we are. Right. That's the both the rear ones done. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the uh, near side front. Uh, but before we do, what I want to do is I just need to... Uh, Double check that the reservoir's not um, dropped too far, because obviously if we empty the reservoir, we'll have to start the whole process again. So what I'll do, I'll um, get this wheel on, and then uh, we'll check the fluid. Okay, if we give it a little shake, the level is just there, which is it's below the max, but it's not the minimum. However, as we're going to pull through some more fluid, I'm going to give it a little top up, just to make sure we don't run a dry. Nope. Right then, near side front, let's crack it on. Right then, front one, crack her off. Get the, get the vacuum up, and here we go, you can see the fluid coming through. And again, what we're the aim of this one is to uh, empty this line and pull fresh fluid from the reservoir into it. Okay, and I reckon that will about do it. Okay, right. This one's got the little wear sensor cable in it. So don't forget to put that back in there. Okay, let's get this wheel back on, onto the other side. Right then, last wheel, the one that's closest to the master cylinder. Okay. Right then, let's crack it off. Get some pressure in there. Here comes the fluid. Right, what I did was I overfilled the reservoir on this one, so I'm going to keep pulling fluid through 
till such time as it drops down to the max mark. I reckon that'll about do it. Okay. Right then, that is all four bled. Obviously just make sure that the, uh, the level in the reservoir is correct and then we can put the cap on that. And then the last thing we need to do is reset the computer uh, in the car to tell it to stop bothering us about changing the brake fluid for the next two years. Um, okay, so that's what we'll do next. We'll move on to that next. Just let me wash my hands before I get into the car. Okay, so now that we've uh, changed all the brake fluid, what we need to do is we need to tell the car that we've done it so that um, it stops warning us uh, every time we turn the ignition on that um, the brake fluid is due. So in order to do that, what we need to do is put the key in, press the start stop button, but keep your feet off the pedals because you don't need to start the engine. As you can see, it's telling us that we need to, um, uh, that the, the car is telling us that um, uh, a service element is required. Okay, in order to access the uh, service menu, what we need to do is just hold down the trip reset button down here in the bottom corner, keep it held and eventually it will come up with the service menu. Now we can cycle through all the different service items with the uh, little jog wheel here. As you can see, all the different, all the different things. It tells you the, these are mileage based. Um, um, that one's mileage based and also date based. Mileage based, date based for the oil. Anyway, what we're looking at is this one. This is the brake fluid. So in order to reset it, what we need to do is make sure it's selected on the screen and then the BC button on the end of the stalk, just press it and it comes up reset. Press and hold. You can see a little clock spinning around next to the reset and there we are as you can see it now says 08 2022 which is two years from now so there we go that is all there is to it we can now turn the ignition off take the key out okay guys right that is the process for carrying out a brake fluid change pretty straightforward nothing too taxing about it um, and it can be done by anybody at home Anyhow, I hope that some of you may have found this video helpful, useful. Uh, if you did, please uh, consider giving me a subscribe. Hammer that um, like button and I will see you all again for the next video from Kev Shed. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye now.